Elizabeth Taylor was one of the preeminent actresses of Hollywood's late golden age. In addition to her plethora of great performances on screen and stage, the star was known for her plethora of romances. Elizabeth was married to seven different men throughout her life, though she died unmarried. One of those men was actor Richard Burton, whom she married twice. Though many of Elizabeth's marriages were rocky, they all ended relatively amicably, and she seems to have stayed friends with most of her ex-husbands after the fact. Join Facts First as we explore how Elizabeth Taylor's ex-husbands still remember her fondly. Movie star Elizabeth Taylor was married to seven different men. After achieving Hollywood stardom, most of Elizabeth's marriages were to men of her stature. However, a stay at the Betty Ford Clinic during the 80s gave the star an opportunity to strike up a late-in-life romance with an unlikely character. That was Larry Fortensky, who found himself at the clinic for alcohol addiction after having made a career for himself as a construction worker. Elizabeth was there for her addiction to prescription pills, and the two instantly found themselves physically attracted to one another. Elizabeth married Larry in 1991, and they remained together until 96. She died in 2011, and she and Larry remained good friends throughout. At the time of her death, Elizabeth was 79. She was 20 years older than her final husband, who was 59 at the time. According to Larry, he was shocked upon receiving the news that she had passed. He knew she wasn't feeling well, but had expected her to make a full recovery. He'd spoken with her just before she went to the hospital, believing she'd outlive him. Elizabeth and husband Larry Fortensky met while they were both in the Betty Ford Clinic in 1988. Though Larry claimed he certainly knew who the movie star was, he couldn't remember if he had ever actually seen one of the many films she'd starred in. Still, Larry was stricken by her good looks, and Elizabeth found him similarly attractive. Their marriage ceremony was held at Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch. They subsequently spent time vacationing in Switzerland and had plenty of good times before their 1996 divorce. According to Larry, he retained wonderful memories of Elizabeth up until his own death in 2016. Elizabeth's previous husband had been a senator named John Warner. As she did later with Larry, she remained friends with John after their separation. They met in 1976, when John was tasked with escorting the actress to a party that was being put on in honor of the Queen of England. The couple hit it off and ended up getting married later that year. It wasn't until after they wed that John became a senator. According to Elizabeth, she couldn't handle the fact that his new job kept him from spending time with her. As soon as John became a senator, he had essentially no time to spend with his wife. Because of this, their marriage eventually fell apart. But Elizabeth had no hard feelings. She said she understood why it was so important for her husband to spend time performing his duties as a senator. John went on to serve for three decades before his own death at age 94. Similarly, John understood that Elizabeth needed a spouse who was available to spend more time with her. Elizabeth became increasingly dependent on prescription pills during the marriage and also took to eating excessively. She would often travel with John during his campaign, and it was said the politician saw increased crowds at his rallies when his wife was in attendance. For her part, Elizabeth was politely asked to dress more modestly than she typically would have otherwise, something she reluctantly agreed to. John became a senator in 1979, marking the halfway point of his and Elizabeth's six-year marriage. They divorced in 82, and Elizabeth made her way to the Betty Ford Clinic not long after. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like, and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already, and stick around for more of Elizabeth Taylor and her ex-husbands. After Elizabeth and John Warner divorced, they remained great friends up until the former's death in 2004. Prior to John Warner, Elizabeth had been married to actor Richard Burton, twice. The two started off their romance as an extramarital affair on the set of the film Cleopatra, which premiered in 1962. According to Elizabeth, she had met Richard years previously and vowed she would never succumb to his charms. Though Elizabeth and Richard were both married during that time, they soon left their respective spouses and tied the knot. Their marriage became great tabloid fodder and helped boost Richard's star status in Hollywood. Previously, he'd been known more for his stage work. Both Elizabeth and Richard were heavy drinkers, and their romance proved volatile. In addition to Richard and Elizabeth engaging in screaming matches so loud they had to rent the hotel rooms above and below the ones they stayed in, Richard claimed in the years leading up to his death that he would have violent outbursts with his wife at least two times a year. On one occasion, Elizabeth was supposedly left so battered by Richard's abuse, she had to take three weeks off of filming a picture so her face could recover. Elizabeth attributed the injuries to a car accident and went on with the tumultuous romance. 
Even though they could barely get along, they were so attracted to each other that not even divorce could keep them apart. After divorcing once, they infamously remarried only a year later. But that marriage fell apart in just a year. Prior to Richard Burton, Elizabeth had been married to Eddie Fisher. Just as with Richard, Eddie was involved with someone else when he started his relationship with Elizabeth. That person was Debbie Reynolds. Although Elizabeth stole Debbie's husband, the two ended up striking up an unlikely friendship. Elizabeth was married to Eddie when she struck up her romance with Richard on the set of Cleopatra. Similarly, Richard Burton was married to a woman named Sybil Williams. Richard had been known for cheating on Sybil, and once Sybil learned about her husband's affair with Elizabeth Taylor, she initially hoped the whole thing would go down like all of his other affairs. But it soon became apparent Elizabeth and Richard's romance was something more serious. Once Sybil realized her husband's affair with Taylor wasn't going to end, she reluctantly agreed to a divorce. Elizabeth had three children from her previous marriages, and Richard had two daughters from his marriage to Sybil. Elizabeth and Richard also adopted a daughter together. Still, their familial responsibilities didn't stop them from excessive drinking and fighting. The more they fought, the more the tabloids gave them attention. It got to the point where it was hard to tell if they were really fighting or just playing it up for the public. Despite that, they seemed to be madly in love and remained friends after their multiple divorces. Richard ended up dying at 58 years old in 1984. Though Elizabeth was asked not to attend the funeral at the behest of his late wife, she was seen putting flowers onto the actor's grave later that year. Before marrying Eddie Fisher, Elizabeth Taylor had already been married three times. Though Elizabeth's first two marriages were short-lived and nowhere near as notable as her later ones, her third is the one that seems to have had the biggest impact on her life. She considered third husband Mike Todd to be the true love of her life. This stands to reason, as Mike was the only one of her spouses she didn't divorce. Instead, Mike was taken from Elizabeth in a fatal and tragic plane crash. Mike Todd was a film producer, with one of his most notable credits being the 1956 film Around the World in 80 Days. They married in 1957 after falling in love that year. Sadly, their marriage ended just as fast as it began, when Mike passed away in a tragic accident while traveling on his private plane, dugged Lucky Liz's. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you surprised to hear that Elizabeth remained friends with all her ex-husbands? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.